Lamone in at a neat 128 and a quarter. We've been watching him train out here the last couple of weeks. He is in outstanding physical condition. He has a doctor monitoring all of his workouts, checking pulse, and uh, Blood's got the legs to go with the younger tattoo champion today. And Lamone comes out slugging in round one. Any looking there. Both south paws, as you can see, leading with the right hand. Press with a combination of Navarrete's against Bo Edwards. Good right hand to the head by the champion, Lamone. Navarrete stays right there with him. He can take anybody out if he hits him clean with that punch. Oh, we saw on the tape, the male defending his title. Keep up, Keep up. A week ago, nine defeats, three draws, 22 knockouts. Under a minute to go, round one. Watching Navarrete in training <laughs> early last week. Two good punches. These punches landed by both fighters in the fiend action. They've been doing boxing, doing some boxing here. At Lamone, he has to win most of his fights on pure will and toughness because he does everything wrong. He started that way again here in the second round. Because managed by Paul Sakamoto. Oh, oh good thing about Lamone's toughness. That was that was Navarrete's vaunted right hook. He landed right on the butt. Round action. Live from Las Vegas. Good body. Both very confident. Lamone has ready, calls him a second class champion. Under a minute to go. Round two. Toe to toe in the middle of the ring with body shot. Good solid body shots again from Lamone that landed. A good right hand landed to the head of the champion and another short one. Go round two. Left upper and again Lamone rigidly looking back at him. Hard to stick your tongue out with a mouthpiece. Tim, I would not. <laughs> Line at the end of this round will be taking a 30-second station break. The sticks is out there and tries to land a big one behind him. And it glanced off the shoulder of the champion. <laughs> round, an unknown young Korean with just 12. <laughs> left uppercut lead. <laughs> Solid left. <laughs> This word from your local station. Well, here you see a wide, wide punch from Lamone, and he pays for it by a snapping right hook and a straight left hand. Locking that wild right hand from Lamone. Lamone misses with the left. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy live from Las Vegas by the champion. He knows he heard him. Left hand. Difference in the scoring. Left hand landed by the challenger. Months ago, car was totaled and he wasn't hurt at all. Has been bothered with a little bit of a shoulder injury, suffered in sparring. Good solid left to the body from Navarrete. Lamont so far showing he is in shape. Out of the border, Tim. A big one by Lamont south of the border. Navarrete scores. And they go toe to toe here in this fourth round. Round four, you'll see the champion Navarrete. Boring in and backing up Lamone. There's a solid right hand and a good left. Good coming down for him. I'm ready. Help. And later Help. in that same Help. round, a solid right hand that near one day, and he's trying it out now. It's not the right time. <laughs> Minutes to go in the fifth round. And he scores a solid right hand. He landed a good right hand. And another solid. Right hand. Already, it's been a big difference in this fight, Tim. Now, this Lamone says, come on, let's. 30 seconds remaining round. For Lamont to win this fight, Tim, he has to go back to that non-stop attack. And take it. Oh. What he's doing now is not a shot. Before, watch the train. He's in superb condition. He landed a right hand there. Scheduled for 15. Usually a non-stop fighter, but now when he tells, so he's hesitating, taking his own stop. Under 10 seconds to go. Round 7, Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy, live from Las Vegas, the challenger, Lamone. Slipping behind on our scorecards. Another round, Tim, as if, uh, as if he had been listening to me. Countries, Lamone, Mexico, in fight. One or two low blows from Lamone that did not appear to be intentional. It appears that we may have seen a lot of fouling so far in L.A. here in round number seven. Solid inside, punching in a good right hand and again. Navarrete really blasted. Lands another combination. He's big punches. Hold it. 
No action. This is what he has to do to win the fight. He can't win it by outsmarting Navarrete. He's got to outgut him. That's what he's trying to do now. He's trying to away from Navarrete. Yeah, like this, a little loss of power. There's two low blows to the champion. A little loss of power in the punching of Lamont. It appears to me in the seventh round. No doubt taken out by the tremendous shot. Taken from Navarrete. Under a minute to go. He is in great shape. Staying right on him. Making Navarrete throw punches. The left scored by the champion. The 30 seconds to go round seven. Good body punch by Lamont got through. This is the next two. Navarrete a short left landing. Final seconds of this seventh round footstep. Big right hand by the champion. Lamone in round number seven, but unable to knock him down. Club fighter. But it's amazing what it can do when a fellow wins the championship of the world. He walks at a fighter now. An excellent point. Gil, it's so true. He's seen so, uh, somewhat of an actor. has had some stage work. See a slight uh, nick on the bridge of his nose. Oh, good solid left hand landed by Lamone. His best punch of the fight. Blocks the chance. Right here, right now, Mr. Lamone's biggest punch. Navarrete. Come on around the left hand. Any questions about Lamont's conditioning have been answered. Whether a leg hole up for 15 still remains to be seen, but he's obviously in great shape as he's taken a huge bomb from the hard punching Filipino. And he's fighting right in the eye of the storm. What's happening? But this Tim is a key round. If, if Lamont can put two rounds together back to one, we've given all of the rest of them to Navarrete and kill that eighth round. There's another toe to toe effort. When he gets in position, he's really unloaded. Now Navarrete backs up Lamont with a combination of Andy Gannigan. That is working as a radio conclusion of this round. We'll be taking a 30 second station break. Navarrete in black. Lamont the challenger in red. We have had everything we expected from two tough young men. Gil, let's watch Lamone land a big one. There's that left hand over the right hand of Navarrete and a solid left hand again. He's been in for a fight in years, and it's paying off for him. Navarrete's mouth is open a little bit. Another left hand for the champion inside. Remarkable that neither fighter has gone down with bombs. Not much zip on that last combination that landed by Lamone. Younger, younger guy out. Under a minute to go round. He's 10. always where he can touch uh, the last hotel in Las Vegas, and the customers here are getting their money's worth. And from Ramon landed to the face of the champion. For championship boxing after this, work to be a local station. Playoffs with the late the Philadelphia 76ers, of course, with other ideas. A tremendous right hand by Navarrete, and Ramon didn't back up at all, but now a left back into the rope. Get it to 15. Another solid right by the champion. Never ready. Under and over. Never ready falling short. Look from our angle. We'll try 
try and determine whether it's from that nickel. Game to the body, then to the head. Two out of punches. Eye of the challenger, Lamone. Not quite any problem. Low blow being to Lamone, but no warning for it. Curtis didn't see it. Final seconds, round 11. <laughs> Cards, but Lamont, the big round in the eighth, is stronger. Never right there. Already just waits, waits for him and hits him with that right hook on the chin. What would have expected from these two guys? Good solid right hand again by the champion. Lamont's corner is rolling him on and saying, Come on, come on. Comes forward once more together in this whole fight too. A lot of the stuff that everybody expected, we just have a few low blows and none of them appear to be intentional. He's in a macho slugfest. Another big right hand scored by the... Under a minute to go. Down 12. Never ready scoring inside. Again, the ball just refuses to back up. Under 30 seconds to go in the 12th round. Good round for the champion Navarrete, but now Lamont is going to the final left to fight there. Navarrete is pressing on the ropes over there, may have been stunned. He hurt. Navarrete goes down. Navarrete goes down quick. They move for Lamont. Hey, closing second round. Hey! That's it. It's all over. Lamont has won the championship. The London Navarrete is here. Lamone looked like he was tired as not. And then suddenly, summoning up some reserve energy, landed a big left hook, then another left uppercut, then a right hand. And right there, I guess, Gil, yeah, he was stunned. He's out he, right he didn't there. He did know where he was. He's against the... He's, by instinct, he's putting his hands up. Good straight right hand. There was a left hand, another... Oh, Tim, he hit him four or five clean punches, and down he went. Resources here, reaching back for that something extra. All the conditioning paid off at age 29. And those two punches now look to us like maybe Navarrete, while he was hurt, was not anywhere near the difficulty that it turned out he was. Because That's right. he's effectively out on his feet. He was stunned by that early right hook, Tim. After that, it was just instant. So there is the new champion having won back the WBC crown. He won from the Venezuelan and lost to Cornelius Boza Edwards and uh, now has regained the WBC Super Featherweight Championship.